Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will learn how we can create a product card section with the help of React. Basically, in this video, we use a React props and with the help of React props, we create uh, this awesome projects in this video. So in this video, we learn how we can use a props and how we can send the data from one component to a second component using our props in a React. So let's start it. I open my code editor and here you can see I already create my react application. You can create this application with the help of this command you can see on my computer screen. After that here you can see I have a SRG folder. In SRG folder I create one more folder with the name of assets. In this folder I have some image like a burger, metabol and slot. After that here I have a app.js file and in this file I have a some dummy code here. So I remove this code. So I select from this header opening tag and close select from this closing tag. Okay, I remove this code and here I write product core. After that, as you can see here, uh, import logo from logo.svg. So I don't need this one. I remove this one here. And after that, I go to app.css file. And here you can see I have a lot of CSS code here. So I remove this one because I don't need this. And after that, I sell right as universal selector and give a margin 0, padding 0, box sizing, border box. And after that, in app.js file, you can see here I have a class name app. So I select this class name app and give a weight 100%, give a height 100 VH. We also give a height mean height. Here I write main height 100 V8 and after that we give our display flex align item center justify content center and padding will be a 40 pixel top and bottom and after that we give a background color you can give any background color like I gave F, F7 F7 this one okay and after that uh, I open my application on a browser and here you can see it's properly work so in next step what we can do here i go to a vs code and in src folder i create one more folder with the name of component in this folder we create three files uh, one is for product card uh, sorry here we create a file so i right click on this and select a new file and here i write products core.jsx after that, here I write RAFC and press enter and it create a basic product called uh, component here. So I capital this product and also this P. Okay. In next step, what we can do here, here I write some, some dummy text here like hello. And after that, I go to again component folder and create one more file with the name of chord dot gsx and here i write rafc again and press enter and in this time i import product card import product card from product card so here i throw like product card i think this is done and here i write product card like this okay in next step, what we can do here, I go to app.js file and in app.js file, we import this card.jx file. Okay, so here I write import card, press enter and it import a card automatically here and here I write this. So here I write card, close this one. Save the file and go to a browser. And here you can see module not found error cannot file product card or JSL file does not match. So again, I go to a VS code and go to a card or JS file. And here you can see I import a product card from product card. So here you can see the P is in small letter. So we capitalize the P and save the file. And actually I remove this and like this as a product card so save this and it's given an error so i open this and here you can see it gave a hello so it's properly worked you can see 
our application properly work but i don't know why it's indicate this error so after that what we can do here i create one more file here with the name of product called the css product called dot css okay now i remove all the file like app.js file app.cs file and now i go to a product called dot jss file and here we create a structure of our pull record okay so for that uh, first we gave a class name to this div like class name sorry class name product box in this div i write a img tag and in this img tag we gave a image here so first if we import an image import image and from assets okay so we'll like that assets and in asset we select this burger dot jpg image okay and here we pass this image like this image save the file and go to a browser and here you can see i get this burger image here so in next step what we can do here i go to a vs code again and here i create one more div with the name of description so here i div and dot give a class name description and in this we write i2 and here i write a burger first we write a static tags and after that we send our text from uh, using our props okay in next step i use a p tag and in this p i give a class name price and here uh, we write our price like uh, 5.00 and we also give here spin and in this spin I write a uh, dollar 6.5 okay you can give any value here after that we give a p and here I write a description like uh, lorem 10 you can give any description here and we also give a class name para and after that we create a button here and give a class name btn and here we write a buy now save the file and go to a browser and here you can see i get image i get this heading burger and we also get a price and here we get description and here we get a buy now button so in next step we style this component so i go to vs code and go to a product core.css file so first what we can do here i go to product.js file and import this product.css file here so here i write import and product core.css save the file and now i go to product core.css so first we select this uh, product box so i select this class name and here first i write dot and paste this class name here and give a width 320 pixel and offer that overflow hidden and max height 470 pixel padding 10 pixel and give a background color hash fff white color and give a box shadow or gba 100 100 and 111 one, one, and also gave a 0 0.2 and here we gave a 0 pixel 7 pixel and 29 pixel and 0 pixel save this and go to our browser and you can you can see here i get a basic product core design now again go to go to a vs code and add some more styling here so here i write dot product box and then we select this image okay img and width 100% height 235 pixel and object fade will be a cover after that uh, we select i2 tag so here we write dot product called box and then uh, we uh, sorry not this product called box we go to product called or just file and here you can see i have a description class name and we copy this and we style this description so here I give a um, margin top 10 pixel and after that in description we have h2 tag here you can see I have i2 tag I select this i2 and give a font size 28 pixel and color will be RGB 1 2 3 and 52 52 and after that we select this price 
paragraph and we select this price and style this one here I write price and uh, give a margin 8 pixel left and right and top uh, sorry 8 pixel from top and bottom and 0 pixel from left and right font size 20 pixel and color will be hash 222 and after that font weight will be a board in next step what we can do here you can see here in our price tag uh, we have a spin tag so we select this spin tag and style this one so here i write spin and give a text decoration line throw and after that margin left 10 pixel and give a color I see, see, see. save the file and go to a browser and see a design so here you can see i get this design and we can also uh, change the font size of this uh, price so i go to spin and here i write font size is a 12 pixel save the file and go to a browser and here you can see i get this 16 6.5 so little bit increase this and here i write uh, 14 well now it's better i think it's better again what we can do here next we style this paragraph and this button so for that i go to vs code and here i write description dot para and here i write font size 15 pixel and margin bottom 10 pixel and after that we write description and select btn and here we give a margin top 20 pixel and we give outline none border one pixel solid rgb and or sorry rgb and this color okay and after that we give a padding 12 pixel 32 pixel and border radius 40 pixel sorry here i write a border radius 40 pixel and after that we give a background color none and color will be rgb this one and after that we give a font weight board text transform uppercase and cursor pointer and transition 3.3 second linear and we can also add a hover effect on this button so description dot btn hover and give a background rgb and this color and after that we give a color hash ffff me white color so save the file and go to a browser and here you can see i get this core design so now i send a value using a props and create multiple core design with the help of props so for that what we can do here i go to a vs code and in core.js file we gave a class name to this div class name like product and now we style this class name so i go to product.css file sorry i go to app.css file okay and here we select product and give display flex align atom center justify content center and flex wrap wrap and gap 20 pixel save the file and and here you can see i cannot see any changing so for that we go to vs code and i I close this app.css file again i close this product.css file now i go to product.jsx file and i remove all these uh, data from here okay i remove this burger okay i also remove this image and we also remove this text from here so i choose alt and like that and we also remove this one and this one save the file and here you can see eh, i don't have anything here okay so now i send our data using our props for that i go to vs code again and go to a car.jsx file and in here i duplicate this card okay and now you can see i have a three card as a product card design okay now we send our different data all the in this uh, card okay so for that i go to vs code again and for first here we write img props and we give a burger and this burger come from uh, uh, this asset folder in okay so for that i import all the image so i save the file and go back here and copy this import and go to code or file and paste here and after that 
here I write a uh, burger I duplicate this and here I choose a uh, slot and also change the image from slot and again duplicate this line and here I write meatball and also change the image so here I write meatball save the file and now what we can do here I go to product.core.js file and here I write prop okay in next step what we can do here instead of this a src I write props dot image save the file and go to a browser and here you can see I get a uh, burger image here okay again I go to core.js file and in this second core component here I use image and get a image like slot I copy this one and paste here and same like this I copy this image and paste here okay and I remove this uh, slot to a meatball uh, sorry meatball save the file and go to a browser and you can see now each uh, code component have a different image in next step now we change the heading here so for that I go to a uh, code.js file and here I write name and name will be a burger and after that uh, we give a uh, description this price and this price is a dollar five point as uh, five zero you can give any uh, value here according to your project and you can also set this as a six point five six five and we here I write a description and here I write eat burger simply eat burger you can write anything okay save the file and now I copy this all the uh, props here and paste in this and also paste here okay and now here I change name slot you can also change the price so here I write 2 and here I 4 and here I write each uh, slot and here I also change this uh, burger to a meatball and you can also change the price so three and like this one okay uh, this is a uh, good here eat uh, meatballs save the file and now what we can do here I go to browser and here you can see I cannot get anything for that I go to a VS code and again go to a product.js uh, file and here in i2 I write a uh, props props dot uh, name and again here in price section uh, we again use a props props uh, dot this price and we can also here write props dot price okay and in paragraph uh, we write Props dot description. Save the file and now I go to a browser and here you can see I get a burger, slot, and meatball. Okay, but here you can see I cannot get a price. So for that I go to product card. I go to so I go to card.js file and here you can see I gave this name. Okay, I copy this name and go to a product card.js file and here I write paste here. Okay and remove this space here and save the file and now you can see uh, i get this price here okay so like that with the help of props you can create a multiple core section in react doc yes so i hope you like this video so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video